I'm Dakuna. Um, I was on Circle of Light last year. Absolutely great experience. Recommend it all the way. Hi, I'm Asa, and um, I'm a multi instrumentalist from Arnold, Nottingham, and been producing my own work for about so about 10 years now. So I'm Elms XAX. I'm an original member of the Circle of Light. I went through the process last year, really enjoyed it, really enjoyed collaborating, uh, networking with different artists, um, and yeah, just creating music in a environment in a different space, like where everyone's like-minded. Over lockdown, I made a mixtape. It's called Desolate, just a bunch of tracks and yeah, mainly most of the tracks I made were mainly based off, I guess, feelings, if that makes sense. It's kind of just like, what kind of, I don't know, mainly questions and feelings, I guess. It's like I'd wake up and be like, oh, I'm kind of feeling this way, I want to make something that has this kind of feeling or evokes the feeling. During lockdown, I managed to squeeze out a whole, whole album all by myself, um, it's called Thanks by Asa. I've released two singles. Um, my first one is um, On Your Mind. Um, it's kind of like a, mainly an electro kind of feel to that, like a normal pop type thing. Um, the second one, which is my personal favourite, is um, In a World of Black and White. Um, got a nice bit of ukulele in that one as well, which was absolutely beautiful to get in. Throughout lockdown, obviously I've kept myself creative by networking, interacting with people online. Um, I was involved with the Circle of Light, um, the Light Hustle, which was a live stream, I performed for that. That was good because it's like a new experience of obviously performing um, online, for like an online medium, which was good because you're still getting people interacting with people, obviously it's just a different way now. Lockdown for me made me realise that uh, it was the right time to release a physical um, piece of music instead of just chucking it up on the internet. Um, I thought it was worth more than just some sort of digital thing that just exists in, in the cloud. When I made Desolate, I kind of just made it because I was bored, mainly I guess. But I just had the idea to make a tape for a while and I guess a lot of that kind of pushed me to do that. Um, so it helped me focus massively on what I needed to do and how to go about it. So it's have the creative process of creating music and then having that um, knowingness to Right, I'm done now, this is, you know, I've got everything I need. It was a bit difficult because I was planning on actually um, performing uh, like on the day that was um, scheduled to be the release day for the first single. Um, I, I, of course I already had the um, music recorded ready to release, but it did kind of mess up the whole plan of how I would um, kind of promote it. collaborate with the artist I did was probably the hardest part because well, yeah, it's difficult doing it all online because you couldn't like just meet at one place and record and then just like take away and mix myself. So I had to just reach out to people and just send demos that I made back and forth and just like change lyrics and all sorts of things. Lockdown has helped me <clears throat> focus in and hone on something that I'm really passionate about. And yeah, that's kind of like the main, main reason why this exists is because of lockdown. Yeah, another thing that I was involved with was with the new art exchange, it was called the Artist Takeover. And um, this was a thing where they got like different artists throughout Nottingham to take over their Instagram page. And obviously the new art exchange, that's like um, a creative hub for like different artists, not just Nottingham based, but like various artists, whether it's like image through imagery, word or video, like whatever creative medium. But um, yeah, I did that. Um, and like my main focus on that was um, a track called Better Days, which is going to be out on the 31st of July, so that's the end of this month. Um, and that was just reflecting on what I've been going through, like throughout this um, whole isolation and the pandemic. But basically, it was just a, a uplifting song, like saying there's better days ahead, and just looking on the bright side of where we can possibly go, not just, because you need to reflect, we also need to look forward, so that's what that track was about. Looking forward to collaborating with people, meeting new people, sharing my experiences with people, um, and my main purpose really is to help people realise that they can do it themselves and hone in on their own craft, 
and then utilise that for whatever they need during the project. But more importantly, afterwards, and how they can go and expand. But yeah, you just have to like. Yeah, depends on which tracks. Like, I'd say, don't call my phone, for example. Uh, that's got quite a few people on it, and I think I've probably mixed that track probably like nine times, <laughs> like just back and forth between like uh, new people I've reached out to saying, "Oh, I like that track. Can I get on that?" or lyrics that I need to change or mixes that I just didn't enjoy. But yeah, it just took a lot of different. Uh, a lot of time, I guess, changing things and uh, working with different artists online, just sending files back and forth to that, try and bring it together. But yeah, got there in the end. So with Circular Lights, I want to help people think more outside the box in terms of what they can do on their own and how they can network simply. Instead of thinking in the bigger terms, it's thinking small and then leading into the bigger kind of bigger world. I can't wait for circle of light this year, I can't wait to see what candidates we get in and all the different musical talents as well, it's going to be awesome.